since we've actually. Greetings, Space Girl Rockets here at Villainous. Robert, How's your boy Leroy. What are we talking about today? Well, we have a few things to talk about. Um, art, 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 art. So let's start off with um, I will always encourage anybody to copy someone else's art as long as you're studying it and you're not saying it's your own. Go, go learn. Um, I found, Even if you look at someone else's art and take ideas from it yeah. and incorporate it, as long as you're not, as long as you're honest about where it comes from, I agree. Yeah. Well, what I would say is, um, I don't know the person's name. Um, it's underscore A L A R I K O on Instagram, and so I copied this and I just hand hand drew it, but I used the uh, a reproduction. A reproduction, but I, I call it a study of. But it, uh, I really love this like comic book art that is really cool, vibrant colors and looks cool. So this is the first one I did, and um, you know, the, the honestly, the biggest issue is the getting the sky to look nice because you're trying to blend it and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning more there. You know, I wish you had brought your marker chart. That yeah. where you went through and that's true. all the different colors, because uh, that is amazing. The actual different variations of colors, and you filled them all in so that yeah you could keep track of what color goes with what number. It's true, very true, and, and I, that made it. So what he's talking about is, I did the first one without any real problem, and then I did the second one, and it was incredibly frustrating because I couldn't get the colors right, and I felt like I messed it up. And so Larry thinks this one looks great, and it does look nice. But if you saw the original, you'd be like, ah, he didn't get close. <laughs> so um, there's that. And then here's the one I did just, um, I did some of this today. And, again, this is one same exact artist, and just recreating it to learn the style. Um, the real issue here is actually... I think the colors look great, but the um, light effect is not there. So what is really supposed to be there is this like light cone from the street lamp, and the street lamp's supposed to stand out, and this little light here is supposed to stand out, but it doesn't really do that. And so there's there's that issue. So but anyway, that was the uh, art progress for the last few weeks. One thing to note, I do have a sheet of the marker paper that has a plastic layer in the, on the back so that um, as you can see the back of the picture here it doesn't bleed through so fun 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 anyway so that's my art update for the week do you have an art update for the week i didn't bring them with me I left them at your house that's the but i don't want that i want that to be a reveal later oh, on yes. anyway that's right i forgot yes so uh, yes i have been working on art uh, which you will see at a later point in time, uh, which goes along with the intro to what we're getting ready to talk now, the webcomic. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to switch and turn this off. So I'll bring up the webcomics. Um, and I'll just bring them up so Larry can talk to them. And then, uh, well, if you didn't know, we we have a, a, a webcomic and that Robert has been working diligently on and is excellent so far. Uh oh, yes. Tots. Yes, please. And thank you. Uh, villainous Tots. See this? Even Tots have their heroes. So, Kinley, uh, do you want some ketchup? Oh, he's got you. And now I must, uh, I'm not supposed to eat while I, while I podcast, so I'm going to uh, refrain for the moment. But we may have to pause in the near future so I can eat these villainous Tots. These, these give you villainous superpowers, you know, like Dr. Doom, you know what I'm saying? These will give you armored up Doom power. Here's this to look at, if you want to talk All to right. it. And I'll just, I'll, uh, here, let's cut right here. And <gasps> there we go. What's up? I've eaten some tater tots. I'm full of Doom. Right, so 
All right, Robert. Well, tell. Hold on. Oh, I'm eating on camera, so I, I am too. We can edit that out. Nom, 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 nom. We're having a conversation about the Terminator robot behind yeah. us. Hold on. Wait. I think this is an important conversation to capture. Oh, look at that. Okay, Kenley, come over here. Special guest. Special guest. So, she's sitting over here working on some, some other tater tots. Some other tater tots. And she's commenting on the Terminator. She's never seen the movies. And we're just sort of an interesting uh, observation. Go on. So she asked if the uh, the Terminators just randomly started killing humans. And we were just having the conversation that no, absolutely not. They absolutely on purposely, purposely started killing humans. Because we are the problem. So, And y'all missed the rest of it. I'm not going back through that again. <laughs> well, well, I think the funny thing is what did you say about it? Oh, the teeth. The right. Teeth. Hold on. Hold on. It has human teeth. And I said, yeah, those probably are human teeth. It needs to brush its teeth. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It, there's some pretty And you said, teeth. that's how we would that's defeat, how them. defeat them. Gingivitis. With gingivitis. Oh. Do you have anything nerdy you would like to talk to everybody about? Tell us about blah, blah, blah. You want to talk about blah, blah, blah? The dancer. Uh, oh, now the whole world well, we, knows. We can't. We can't. Bring let's, it. let's. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not name. It's not his name names. is blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, but he, so he's Transylvanian. Wow. You get the joke. Okay. Well, what, so do you want to tell Larry? You got two minutes. Why don't you tell him about your story you're working on? Well, I'm thinking about writing a book, and I'm thinking and, um, Don't worry about it. It's about a ballerina. Oh yeah. Who's like in London and is going to dance school and all that stuff. And ballet is the thing that like makes her happy and makes her feel safe. And so when she was walking home one night, it was dark. She found she finds a diamond necklace on the ground. <laughs> and she touches it, and she gets transported to a place where nothing can hurt. Her. In the beginning, she does not know that nothing can hurt her, but she just wakes up in a weird place. And I'm not sure of, like what the creature's gonna be that tells her, but it's gonna be something that pops out, pops in, and tells her that in that land you cannot get hurt. So she goes on exploring, and then the prince learns to love her. And it's a romance. It's a romance. Not really, actually. Oh, it's a. Is it a gr gross romance? No. So it's like. It's not focusing on the prince. It's not focusing on the prince. Oh, good. And yeah. she's like, she was going to accept the offer of being the princess with him, but um, she remembered how hard, hard it hurt her when. Her boyfriend broke up with her in London, and then the creature pops up again and says nothing to hurt her. She still says no to the offer, offer because she wants to go explore the land. She goes through so many lands for so many years, and nothing can hurt her at the same time. So, um, so it's a, it's a journey of discovery. Yeah, but then one day. She notices a hand reaching down. It's a little um, about my age girl named Emery, and the ballerina's name is Olivia, by the way. And Emery wants to be like an actress or something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make that yet. And she grabs the bracelet and I mean the necklace, and Olivia then notices that she's trapped in the bracelet. I mean the necklace. She's she's inside. And so the every time the Emery the little girl puts just her pinky on the necklace, she teleports to that world. But as soon as she unclutches her hand, she goes back to the normal the normal world. And um, Emery lives in poverty and she has a hard time. And she works in a factory and hurts a lot. And so she wants to go back to the world of no hurting, 
but Olivia wants to go back cause, back to London because she can continue her dancing Great. career. And so they figure out how to um, switch sides. And... Wow. Some contrasting stories. It's almost Some like contrasting stories. Yeah, that's it's very cool. I can't wait for you to uh, get this all written down and finalized so I can read it. What's the name of What's the name of it going to be? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't is, is know it, the name yet. Is it gonna include, I don't know the name yet. Is it going to include Kinder. the bad dancer? Blah blah blah. No. Who wets his trousers? Probably... You should keep a straight face. He doesn't mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't mean to wet his trousers when he's dancing. That's why he's blah blah. Baloosh. <laughs> That's does he does he have gingivitis too? Does he have gingivitis? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Thank you. <laughs> and that was our special guest. That was our special guest. She uh, has to put up with us all the time. So. So. Anyway. <clears throat> where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, you were going to talk about the web comic. Well, where 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 can they find this web comic, Robert? Just STR Studio at Webtoons. <laughs> so I'll let you all go and find it. I don't want to talk too much about each, each episode and everything. I'll let you all go find it for yourselves and read it. But in one of the last episodes, there was a, an emergency, and so some of the art that I've been working on is going to go towards the next episode. So please go and check out the webtoon and hopefully uh, soon we will have um, another one with some excellent artwork. Yeah. By both of us. You know, Space Girl Rockets. Uh -huh. Well, so let's, let's go over some artwork. All right. So a handful of things. So, Larry and I met a few weeks ago and came up with a three-month plan for the studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ooh, that's it's been oh, pretty my. cool. Um, Todd's. I'm full of doom. See that? So yeah. we'll talk yeah. about that for a second. Um, I would strongly recommend that if you're doing anything, and whether it's an art project or starting a business to set weekly goals and or, or have somebody you work with who's just a nut job that helps but all right so we, we went through and said okay where do we want to be in three months and so the big thing is we wanted to come up with a really good product and by product we mean an experience for art fairs Right, so we, we don't have enough money or a capital or anything right now to open an art studio, but how can we bring that experience to people and get them involved? And so that's what we decided to do, and uh, we'll, we'll start talking about that. So, as I slurp my drink in your ear, yes, let me whisper it to you. Okay, so. What we came up with, and I'll, I'll show on both cameras. Um, when we're drawing um, comic books, there's a handful of things that are, are standard comic book equipment, and then there are things that you just need because it's art. So I'm going to start off with these nice Bristol board pages, and you'll be able to see in the document scanner, they actually have blue lines around the outside of them. Um, this is how comics are drawn. They're drawn in this format. And a lot of people just don't know that. They, they haven't had exposure to it. And so the first thing we're going to make sure we include in our art kit is paper to draw on. And so we went and found where we can get that. The next thing, I'll just go through this carefully. Um, it's a blue line pencil. And so I'll put that in here. The big thing about blue line pencils is you can draw with them, and I can see this line really well, but you can barely see it with the scanner. And actually, it's really easy to eliminate this color of blue 
if you make a copy, it will not come through. So it's actually really cool. So a blue line, and if we look carefully, the paper's actually from the Blue Line Art Product Company. Um, so pretty awesome, right? So we're going to include one of those in our kit. We're going to include a pencil, which is just going to be a standard pencil, nothing, nothing special there. An ink pen for inking. An eraser with a uh, brush on the end so you can clean off everything really well. A white eraser, which is pretty standard. Pencil sharpener, because two, two or three of these need a pencil sharpener. Um, I'll get the rest of it here. Hold on. And then a um, ruler, which will actually do a plastic ruler, but I just threw this in here for today. And then the last thing is we're going to give you a pencil bag to keep it all in. So this is your art supplies. And that still doesn't give you the experience though. And so what we have found is we can for $6 buy these, which the really cool thing about this, uh, Larry, can you give me your top sheet there? Oh, sorry. Go right ahead. Go ahead and throw it in here. Is it is perfect for drawing comic book pages specifically. So it's a clipboard, but if you look, I'm able to do the whole, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm able to draw at the top. I can rest this on my stomach and it doesn't touch the page. So this is actually a really cool clipboard for drawing comics. What's nice about it is the clips on the side. And so if I'm left-handed, I can just flip the board and draw whatever I want to. So it's really a cool clipboard to have. So, that's going to be our MVP, our Mean Viable product. But basically, it's, it's the most basic thing we can do. We're going to go to art fairs and uh, distribute these and, and sell them and just see if people are interested. We've got about $11 in this by the time we have to buy everything in bulk, but we have $11 in it. So we sell it for 20 bucks or something, that'll be fine. Really, we're more trying to see if we could sell these and then people will actually sit and draw with us. So I think it's going to be good. Um, kind of talk about the art for a second. I don't know if you can see this or not. There you go. Larry drew that just at the house, practicing with one of these boards. Pull this over here. So this is only about an hour, maybe, of work for Larry, and it's just awesome. He just sat on the couch, he didn't have to have a table, and drew. So that was, I, I think it's going to be a win, but this is going to be our first try. So. Wish us luck. And, and oh, in a moment, though, for more, right, let's take a quick break. And we'll come right back. All right. And we're back. And we're back. All right, Robert, what are we talking about now? Oh, okay. So oh, I was, yeah, Catalina Lunch. So I was going to talk a little bit about Catalina Lunch. So this is a comic I started with the Chattanooga Comic Group. Um, they basically had a call out to, you know, like do six pages for an anthology they had. And I started this and then COVID hit. It's the craziest thing. So it's really just like a side project. And I really was wanting to test out what we just talked about, about this drawing uh, drawing setup and this clipboard. It actually worked out really well. So I had already done the majority of this page. And so really all you're seeing here is I went back and did some cleanup. Uh, Larry and I are definitely talking to each other about the quality of the comics. We want to make sure we're doing outstanding work. And so uh, more more to come on that, obviously, but it, it, it matters. Um, I had the whole thing scripted here, but um, this is just the second page. So, you know, they're in the plane, and so there's a bunch of dialogue, and then the plane's flying away, and then the plane is, is up in the air, flying away from their house. So nothing too crazy there. Um, 
the next one is the plane actually landing in Chattanooga. And so what was cool about this is I was able to use Google Earth to get reference images, which we have found is unreplaceable. I can't say enough about reference images. Um, and so this was kind of cool at the top here. I actually, there's a bunch of condominiums and houses all built together and they're all this, you know, standard shape. And so as opposed to actually following the real look of the houses, I just started randomly putting, uh, you know, roofs and sliding glass doors infinitely everywhere. <laughs> and so that's kind of what the top is. Um, the bottom is, uh, there's a really cool park called Coolidge Park in Chattanooga. And I was able to, with, with Google Earth, position the camera basically right above the art museum across the way there and get a really cool picture of the park that looks, this will look really nice when it's done. But um, anyway, so that's as far as I've gotten with the detail work. Um, I went ahead and laid out the next few pages, which um, was cool because, you know, I've got to sh show this stuff to Larry so he knows what we're doing. Um, which <clears throat> is the biggest task because I don't know. I don't have a clue. So um, the first few pages here don't actually have much to them, but I did start using the blue line more, and this is cool because you can't really see it here. Let's see if you can see it on the other camera. So these are very dark lines for us. There you go. You can see it if I, if I tilt it a little bit. And so there's a whole um, them sitting down, and then at the bottom you can see Doug leaves to go get um, go to the bathroom. Doug, Doug, Doug. And so... Anyway, more to come on this, but um, really just testing out our setup for um, our first pass, right? So, any comments on any of it? Or? I love it. Uh, I love the whole concept, especially, uh, we'll talk about the, there's going to be some, some gags, some gags in this comic, so it's going to be hilarious. Anything else going on? Uh, you mean like, wait, let's, we're going to pause, we're going to put a break there just in case we want to edit everything that comes after this out. So, uh, so we'll, we'll do a goodbye yeah. in case we need it. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching. We know it's short. We know we haven't been here in a while. Uh, life kicks you right in the teeth sometimes and, uh, takes you on places, takes, takes you places you didn't expect to go, which is the next subject. Uh, so, yeah. Boom, okay, so. So, <laughs> From Kentucky to Indiana. And we're going to have to do some of these uh, via what's, what are, what, see, look, I'm showing now, my we did age. these We did these via Zoom already. Once. So. And I do think we could set you up with a studio set up and we could oh absolutely that's the plan right oh yeah we're going to still get together and and this will give us a a way to cover more ground to like say we're going to louisville uh to do uh, a convention there a comic com book convention we can also go to now we can head to indianapolis sure to do some we, we there, got there. family in do you yeah. see? Look at that. And uh, that way we can cover we can cover Lexington, Louisville, Indianapolis, you know, not, wherever. Not since then. And it's just awkward. It's just you know, Ohio. It's Ohio. <laughs> you know Our special guest is making horrid faces at us. She's making faces. She's surprised. I mean Maybe Cincinnati. Maybe okay. Cincinnati. I mean we did I mean this this Chicago's not in Ohio. Yeah. No, that's Illinois. It's far, far, far away. You know, like in Shrek, far, far away. We did do, I mean, we started all this in Columbus. Wasn't it? Or uh, uh, where did we start this at? The, in 2006? Yeah, we did go to Columbus, Ohio. Comic Con. We did Columbus Comic Con, so that's where all this. Maybe we need to kick it back off at the Columbus Comic Con. Wow. Now, there's the thought. Get a booth. 
We could re we can wear we can wear space helmets and be like we have not breathed air from Ohio. On our on our I, I actually can't say that. I had a lovely time in Ohio. I, I, I love to go to Newport Aquarium and Covington right there on the river and oh we right across so. I, that whole area. I, yeah. I it's, love that uh, whole area. So, Hofbrau House, right there. We used to uh, go to a bed and breakfast in uh, in Covington and run right across the river all day long. It was fantastic. Yeah, they uh, decided to retire, and broke our hearts. So, true story. She used to make the best waffles and French toast for breakfast. Fresh fruit, fresh uh, orange juice. Oh gosh. I miss them. It's very sad. <laughs> very, very sad. But anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping in. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, it's a brief episode, but miss you till we see you again. Hey, thanks for watching.